again and welcome back to Let's Talk Tech, brought to you by Signwave Technologies. In today's video, we're going to talk about an IP addresses subnet mask. Over the past few videos, we have been covering IP addresses and have made it a point to be able to identify the different portions, network and host. Whenever your router reads an IP address, it just looks at the network portion. However, without us telling it, it has no way of knowing how that address is being structured and would not be able to identify the network portion on its own. This is where subnet masks are used. A subnet mask gives the router the ability to determine the network portion and host portion of an IP address on its own. Like an IPv4 address, a subnet mask is 32 bits long but it's important to note that the subnet mask is a separate number than the IP address. They are not the same, but they're accompanied together like a pair. Just like an IP address, a subnet mask can be read in both data decimal notation, which is what we are used to seeing, and binary notation, which is how our computers read it. If you remember from our binary conversion video, our computer reads data as a series of ones and zeros. This is the same for how it reads a subnet mask, using ones to identify the network portion and zeros to identify the host portion. The easiest way to understand subnet mask is to start with the network classes. Despite the name, subnet masks are used even if subnetting is not. All IP addresses have a subnet mask. When looking at the different network classes, class A, B, and C, the network portion is always the same, therefore the subnet mask will also be the same. For example, class A uses the first octet as the network portion and two, three, and four as the host. Remember, in subnet mask, the one is used to identify the network portion, so for class A, the subnet mask will look something like this. And the dotted decimal notation looks like this. For class B, we know that the first two octets are used for the network portion, making the default subnet mask to have eight ones, followed by eight ones, and then the last two octets are all zeros. Its decimal notation would be this. And lastly, for class C, the first three octets are all ones, and the last octet is zeros, making the dotted decimal notation this. Now let's look at the subnet mask for an IP address that includes a subnet. In our previous video, subnetting and classful and classless routing, we talked about how we can steal bits from the host portion of an IP address to create the subnet portion. With subnetting, you don't always have to use the whole octet. Based on the needs, maybe only a few of the bits are needed. Let's look at an example of this. From this address, we know that this is a class C because of the 192. We don't need all of the host IPs in this class C network, so we're going to subnet it. And let's say our subnet mask is this. You can see that the last octet is neither a zero or 255, and that's because we only borrowed a few bits from the host portion. So how does this look in binary? Because it is a class C, and we see that the first three octets are all 255, all the bits in the first three octets are being used for the network, and will be represented by ones. In order to write the 224, let's revert back to our 8-bit octet chart. If you add a 1 under the 128, 64, and 32, this adds up to 224, making this our final subnet mask for this IP address. Well, that's all for today's video. If you've enjoyed this series so far and want to learn more about technology, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified about our next video. If you have any further questions or just want to follow along to learn more tech, check out our social media linked below in the description or take a look at our website at sinewavetech.com. I hope you all have a great weekend and I will see you next week on Let's Talk Tech.